a milkshake, a sticky, sticky waffle, a mozzarella pizza. This house oh, means. The it. The, yeah. The video. Oh. Oh. Hey guys! Oh my goodness, sorry, Miss Hoskins just misses doing brain breaks with you so much. I hope you're doing well this Monday morning. I hope you had a nice weekend. All right, so Miss Hoskins went through all the videos and I got all the names from the comments, so I want to give everyone a huge shout out. Everybody say shout out! Yes, so shout out to all my friends. Here we go. When you hear your name, say whoop whoop. Reginald, Jeremy, Gabriel, Reagan, Kimini, Ariel, Christopher, Anai, Madison, Jaden, Peyton, Cornelius, Aaliyah, Nyla, Bryson, Cottrell, Jemiah, Jakia, and Victoria. Thank you so much for watching, for commenting, for subscribing. Parents, families, if you could do me a huge favor and if your kids are watching, snap a picture or a video of them and send it to me so that we have that. So this is a note for the adults or the, the big brothers or big sisters that are helping out this morning. When we work with scholars on learning time on an analog clock, we don't want to overwhelm them. There are a lot of pieces to learning this. So we're just going to start out by learning o'clock. So we're going to start with one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, so on and so forth with what that looks like on analog clock. Then we'll move into half past, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30. Then we'll move into learning the minutes, but we want to take it one step at a time. All right. So that's just a note for you so that you don't get frustrated and so that your scholar doesn't get frustrated either. All right. Okay. So before we start learning about analog clocks, we're going to review digital clocks. Remember, we said when we say time on a digital clock, we say them as two separate numbers. We have the hour, the, hour, the colon, and then we have the minutes. So we say them as the hour and the minutes as two separate numbers. We would say this time as 730. So let's do some really quickly just to make sure that we locked in the knowledge. All right, let's get started. The time is Yes, if you said 105, that's correct. High five to you. Here we go. The time is? Yes, 2.10. Let's keep it going. Get ready. The time is? Remember, when there are two zeros, we just say three o'clock. We say three. Yes, here we go. One more. The time is? Yes, 421. Very good. Let's do a celebration. How about the roller coaster this morning? Roller coaster, get ready. Roller coaster, go. Ch -ch -ch. Woo, woo, woo. And back together. So here we have our first example of an analog clock of an. Yes. Now, what I want us to do is I just want us to look at the clock and talk about some things that we notice. Right now, if you just want to click on the video to pause me, that way you can take a look at the clock, and if you're watching this with someone else, you can talk about some things that you notice. Now, if you're joining back, if you paused and talked about it, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these things. If you said that you noticed that there are the numbers 1, through 12, that's absolutely correct. And those numbers tell us the hour. Those numbers tell us the... The next thing that you might have said that you noticed is that there are two arrows. These arrows have a really cool name. We call this the little hand, because it's the smaller one. And we call this the big hand, because it's the bigger one, so that's easy. Yeah. Okay. So it's really important that we listen up with our elephant ears. Whichever number the little hand is pointing to tells us the hour. Tells us the, yes, the hour. If the big hand is pointing up at the 12, we say o'clock. We say o'clock. We say Here's what I mean. If I looked at this analog clock, I would see that the little hand is pointing at the 3 and the big hand is pointing at the 12. So I say that it is 
three o'clock. When it's pointing at the 12, it means that our hour is right where it starts. And as we move along the clock, the minutes will change, but not, we're not going to worry about that today. We're just worrying about the hour. So it is three o'clock. So here's another one. Now let's look at our analog clock. The first thing we do is look at the little hand to see what hour it is. If I look at my clock, the little hand is pointing to the, yes, the four. So it is four. My big hand is still pointing at the 12. So it is four o'clock. Very good. Say, let's do another. Okay, here's another example. The first place we look is at the if you said the little hand, that's right. High five to you. All right, friends. So let's look at that little hand. The number that the little hand is pointing to is the, yes, the eight. So it is eight. Then I look at the big hand. It's still pointing up at that 12. So we say that it is eight. O'clock. Very good. It is eight o'clock. It is. Nice job. Say, I'm a mathematician. Very good. Let's do another. Say, let's do another. Oh my goodness. Look at this analog clock. The first place I need to look if I'm trying to tell the time is the little hand. And the little hand is pointing up at the 12. So we say that it is 12, then we've got to look at that big hand, and it's still pointing at that 12. So we say that it is 12 o'clock. Yes, it is 12 o'clock. And remember, 12 o'clock is a very special time. If it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, we would say that it's noon. And if it's 12 o'clock in the middle of the night, we would say that it's Midnight. Yes, and friends, here I have the digital time for 12 o'clock, and here I have the analog time for 12 o'clock. Both clocks say that it is 12. Very good. So let's keep going and do a couple more examples and connect the analog clock to the digital clock. Okay. So I've added some things to our whiteboard. Here I have our digital clock and we're gonna fill in the parts for the hour and the minute. Here we have our analog clock that's already telling us a time. And down here, we're gonna fill in what time it is. Mm, o'clock, mm, o'clock. Remember, our big hand is pointing up at that 12, which means we just say o'clock. All right, so in order to tell the time, we've got to look at the little hand first. That tells us the hour. That tells us the, yes, the hour. So if I look at my little hand, it's pointing to the nine. So where I have my hour in my digital clock, I'm going to say that it is nine. Now, Yesterday on a digital clock, we learned that when we say o'clock, we use two zeros. Just like this. This is the digital time for nine o'clock. I know that's kind of confusing because the big hand is pointing to the 12 for the minutes, but we put zero zero for the minutes in our digital clock. Here's a little hint why. What we don't see on our analog clock right now are a bunch of little lines that tell us the minute, that tell us the, yes, the minute. And our lines up here at the 12 would say zero, zero. That's right, there are no minutes that have passed after nine o'clock. All right, and so then down here, we fill in our mm o'clock. It is, yes, nine o'clock. That's correct. All right, I know this is kind of tricky and say that's okay. Yes, because we're going to keep practicing. So everyone say, let's do another. 
Okay, so here's our next problem. Remember, we have the digital clock, the analog clock, and then we have our words where we're going to fill in o'clock, what time it is, okay? So let's take a look at our analog clock to figure out what time it is. If I look at the, hmm, what hand do I look at first? Which one is it? Is the little or the big? Little, big. It's the, yes, the little hand first. Okay, so I look at the little hand first. I see what number it's pointing to. It's pointing to the number, yes, two. That means that my hour is two. So on my digital clock, I go to the hour, which is in front of the colon, and I put my two. Very good. Then I look at the big hand for the minute. The big hand is pointing to the 12. Remember on our last problem, we said if it's pointing to the 12, then zero minutes have passed. So in my digital clock, I'm going to put zero, zero, which means that it is two o'clock. It is yes, two o'clock. So down here, I can come with my words and I can put two o'clock. Let me make that two look a little bit more professional. How about that? Two o'clock. Okay, we're going to do one more before I let you go this afternoon. Okay, everybody say one. Okay, so here's our last problem together this morning. All right, we've got our digital, our analog, and our word. So I look at my analog, and the first place I look is at the, yes, you should have said the little hand. So I look at the little hand to tell me what the hour is. The little hand is pointing to the number, yes, the number five. So I'm going to go to my digital in the hour, which is in front of the colon, I put the number, yes, five. All right, so I'm going to go to my digital clock. I'm going to go to my hour, and I'm going to put the number five. Then I look at the big hand, and it hasn't changed. It's still pointing at the 12, which means zero minutes have passed after five o'clock. So in my minute side of my digital clock, I put... Yes, zero, zero. That tells me that it is five o'clock. It is five o'clock. All right, friends? Now, okay, so I hope that this video helped you maybe clear up some uh, misunderstandings that you were having when you were doing your analog clocks. Parents, if you have any feedback for me, please reach out. I want these videos to be as helpful as possible. So if there's something that's working that you want me to keep doing, let me know. And if there's something that isn't working, you want me to try to change, um, also let me know that as well. I've asked Miss Stevenson to put telling time into your dream box lessons for this week. So please make sure you're logging on to your dream box account and doing your 10 lessons a week. Um, as always, please reach out to me on Remind or my personal number if you need anything. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you later for a story. Bye.